that's a f I think I did I just break my skull what <laughs> hello what happened well hello beautiful people welcome back so for today's video we are going to be getting into a first impression and a wear test on Chanel yes bitch you heard me right Chanel's newest foundation launch and that would be their $60 $60 foundation this is their healthy glow foundation for hydration and long wear and I picked this up a couple of days ago I want to say it launched within the last couple of weeks but for me when it comes to higher end like designer you know foundations I have such a hit or miss relationship with them because I feel like they're either really really good on my skin or they are hot fire and I mean hot fire on fire shit trash garbage and like the whole city is burning down okay and they look really really awful on my skin so I thought for today it would be good to sit down do a first impression like I said a wear test and just overall kind of get the feel for this is it worth the money um and like you know does it do anything really good for the skin so you know that's kind of where we're headed with it and just as like a little side note like a little a little information um I'm sure some of you especially avid watchers of the channel you're probably like hey Paige <laughs> why so much foundation because if you missed it I just put up a three-day Days three ways foundation review on the new NARS soft matte complete foundation which I will link up here and then obviously you're gonna have this foundation review and even after this just so you guys know there is gonna be a couple other videos that are featuring foundation one of them is gonna be all about rare beauty and then another one is going to be a first impression and a wear test just like this but on a more drugstore more affordable foundation so I'm very very excited again I love foundations you guys know this I love to test them and give you my thoughts anyways if you are interested in this new Chanel foundation um, um, hang tight we're obviously going to be zooming in we're going to get into the video here in just one second but before we do that you guys know i like to take a pause and introduce myself if you are new here i'm Paige. this is seeking alexandria welcome to the channel um i do upload three new videos a week typically they go up monday wednesday friday usually right around 7 7 30 ish a.m so it's a bright early morning upload here in good old northern michigan so definitely subscribe turn on your post notifications before you leave of course if you have been on this channel for any longer than i don't know like one video um you know at this point i am desperately trying to grow my Instagram platform. Uh, truthfully, here's the situation, you guys. I've been on YouTube for almost four years, and for the first, like, three and a half of those years, I literally never talked about Instagram. Like, I just, I never brought it up. And if I did, it was at the very end of my video, and, and like, I, I didn't really care about it. Now I'm at a place, truthfully, where I've been on YouTube for almost four years, and I never, you know, put that, put that emphasis out there. And now I really want the swipe up feature, so I need 10,000 followers to do that. And I would just greatly appreciate it. If you would take a second, if you haven't done so yet, please go Go down into the description box follow me on instagram it's where i hang out the most it's my favorite platform um outside of like youtube and you know putting up videos which i do love but that for me is like my everyday my super fun interactive place and then as far as the feed part of it goes like the actual uploads i'm gonna be playing around a little bit more i think with that because over the past week i asked you guys in a poll if you wanted to see like little baking vlogs or just little kind of hangout sessions in that igtv and basically those would be just like if you've been here for a while how i used to do like riding in the car vlog Vlogs or baking vlogs or shop with me vlogs anything like that but it would be over on Instagram and they would be under 10 minutes just because that's the limit okay not because a bitch can't talk because a bitch can talk let me tell you the overwhelming majority of you said that you thought it would be fun and it would just be something a little bit different you know that we could test out and just kind of I don't know get a feel for it that's it you guys that's the entire plug that's all I got that 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 whole thing if that entire laundry list of things that I love about Instagram doesn't do it for you well then just come follow me anyways okay thanks goodbye let's let's get into the foundation you know at some point I am gonna have to clean off <laughs> <laughs> this whole box on the shelf behind me um I just uh, every time I film I, I look at it and I'm like you should get rid of that and then every time <laughs> I sit on my ass and I don't get rid of it um and it's just sitting there and it drives me crazy every time but do I get up no <laughs> I'm not gonna get up. We all know this. All right, you guys, so we are good and zoomed in, and I did already go ahead off of camera, and I primed and prepped my skin with my Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. This is kind of my go-to. This is what I use in every foundation review, just as a good, nice, even little silky base. But let's go ahead really quick here and get into some of the details about the Chanel foundation, which, by the way, I love this little cap. I just think this is so cute. It has a beautiful weight to it, too. It feels very luxe, very nice and high-end. And it says here on their website, where's the detail here? It says, it is a light to medium coverage fluid foundation that lasts up to 12 hours and features a weightless texture and a radiant finish for a natural healthy looking glow. It has light reflecting pigments to smooth and enhance the look of skin with a subtle luminosity while antioxidants help protect against pollution, free radicals, and blue light. Made of over 40% water, the long wearing formula is enriched with moisturizing ingredients that hydrate skin immediately and for up to 12 hours. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Oh my god you guys it says 35 shades available and I just sat counting in every single fucking box. One, two, three, four, 34, 35. I just sat here and did it. Oh my God. And it says 35 shades available. 
Are you fucking kidding me, Paige? My God, learn, learn how to read. Now, the only thing is, you know, even though there are 35 shades, there isn't like a gradient, like a picture on their website where I can look to see like, okay, here they all are. This is the shade range like as a whole. So I can't really comment on that. I can tell you, I went with shade B20, which on the list is number five. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it because I, I had a hell of a time as it is. I'm like, I'm really hoping that this matches. It might be a little bit like, you know, I don't fucking know. Let's, let's just try it. Okay, let's just go in. Um, Cause I think at this point we've learned everything we need to know about her. She's going to be healthy looking, hydrating, and hopefully she lasts on my skin because, bitch, I'm a little combo leaning oily. So this this could be interesting. It could look good. Who knows? Of course, per usual, before I go in with uh, any foundation, I like to give it a little shake up just to make sure everything is good and mixed, girl. I like it to be mixed. I like it to be all up in itself. So let's just make it good and mixed and then take off. I just love this little Chanel cap. I think it is so cute. Wow, I kind of wish that was weighted. Is that weird? Like, I just wish that this had like a little heft to it. It just feels like a plastic like throwaway cap. And I was really hoping it would have like that weighted like kind of like that metal feel when it just like pinks down onto the packaging I, I, for $60. Okay. I want it to be crested in gold, bitch. Who are we kidding? But I just really wanted it to have like a little bit more luxe feel and it's plastic. Did you hear that? That was plastic. But anyways, let's go ahead here. I'm just going to grab a sponge and this does have a pump on it. So I'm going to start off with just a couple little pumps and we're going to, we're going to do a little, say a little prayer for this shade here, which, Oh, Shit, bitch. Okay, that's like, is that like almost my color? Please don't oxidize. Oh my God, if this oxidizes, I am so fucked. <laughs> Please don't oxidize. Okay, uh, but let's go ahead and just get this all over the skin. Yeah, okay, it's a little bit dark. <laughs> this is like if Paige could tan. This this is kind of what her, what her skin tone would be. Also, by the way, you guys, it is so unbelievably dark and like dreary and rainy outside. And I'd like you to know, I waited as long as I could to just like see if the sun would make a magical appearance. <laughs> bitch, she did not. She did not come out today. So we're kind of playing with no sun out outside and one, two, three, four, five, five lights inside. Um, I'm sorry, six if you count my overhead, just to try and like <laughs> get us any sort of light. But uh, if you happen to notice how like awful shadowed this side is versus this side, that's just, you know, I can't do anything about that. And you know what? That's just how Northern Michigan does her thing. Like some days we get sun, some days we don't. And really, you know, as a Northern Michigander, you just grow to really appreciate the sun. <laughs> like if you get to see it, especially during the winter, oh my God. Um, if and when you see her, you're just like outside, it'll be like, you know, negative 17 nipples and you're outside literally sitting in a sun chair just like eh, just like soaking it up because your skin like you desperately need the vitamin d and like honestly you just need the sun also by the way um, fun facts you know while i while i'm ranting um i have the foundation completely on and applied i just did it all with a sponge because i really like the way it looks with a sponge it just pressed in so beautifully and it looks so like it obviously looks very dewy it's very hydrating on the skin but it has such a beautiful pressed in like your skin but better look with a sponge and i didn't want to mess around <laughs> with a brush because i i honestly I just didn't want to sacrifice it. Okay. It looks really good and I'm just not willing to give that up. So went in and did the whole face with a sponge. It looks very, very nice. I do think in terms of the coverage, they are spot on. Um, this is a light to medium coverage. Honestly, for me, this is not about the coverage. This is about how it looks on the skin. Hold on. Let me zoom you. I want you guys to be like up close for this shit. <laughs> did you hear that? I want you to be up close for this shit. Okay. So I think at, uh, at this level of a close up, <laughs> I think you can see pretty much everything. And I am just guys like, I'm so impressed with how that is pressing into the skin and and it's not that it's uncommon because typically with a more hydrating foundation that, you know, that is how it looks. It just really settles in. And with that dewy complexion, you oftentimes get a better pressed look just into the pores, at least in my experience. And with this foundation, like I can't get over how freaking like it, it, hydrating, like leaning toward what? Like just leaning on, like hydrating towards pizza grease. Okay. Like we're getting that chalupa chin vibe, but bitch, we just rubbed the chalupa all up on our face. And I, I'm not against it. I think it looks beautiful, but uh, just something to know. Like if you are more combo leaning oily like me, maybe you're just oily. Um, <laughs> the bitch, the bitch does come with that hydration game. Okay. This is not a light amount of hydration, but uh, it does look really beautiful and it definitely delivers as far as how it presses into the skin. Ooh, you know what concealer is going to look great with this? Sorry. It's got so excited. Excited. I think the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear is gonna look so good with this because this has almost more of like a like a satiny kind of vibe. And I really do think, just like as I'm blending this out, I think that the texture of this concealer is going to look very, very nice with this foundation. I mean, well, obviously that's the hope, but I just I don't know. I kind of got that vibe that they're gonna look good at least, or maybe maybe that's just wishful thinking. I mean, honestly, who knows? I'm gonna add a little bit more concealer. Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit more concealer. <laughs> Not that I need it because this is more of like a medium coverage look, but also my under eye bags, they don't require medium, bitch. They require a full on fucking coverage. And so then from there, I'm going to go in and set my T zone and my under eye. And to do that today, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me in 05 Fair. This is one of my favorite setting powders. I just want to switch it up a little bit. 
And so I'm gonna take that, again, run it under the eyes and through the T-zone. All right, and then at that point, with those areas nice and set, I do like to take just a really quick pause and do a light touch test here on the open areas of my face just to get a feel for the dry down. And, oh, wow. Oh, man, you guys, this, uh, this foundation, it doesn't dry down very much at all. Like, I'm barely touching my face, and I am still getting, like, a fair amount. I don't think you can see it, but I'm getting a fair amount of transfer. Now, don't get me wrong. Given how hydrating this foundation was, I would have actually been surprised surprised if it was dried down. So it doesn't like bother me. That's just something I like to give you guys that information. That way, you know, in terms of like setting your face versus not. But for me at this point, you know, I do like to move on obviously and set the rest of my face. And today I'm going to use the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination Powder right here, which is in the shade Light. And because this is a foundation powder, what this will do is not only set my entire face, but it'll also give me a little bit of extra coverage. So it'll kind of help make up the difference for that light to medium type situation. So if that's what you're looking for. Anyways, you guys, at this point, this is where I typically run off of camera, go do the rest of my face, and I just wanted to give you one last shot. You can still see a little glow coming through, even with everything set down, and I mean, I think it looks good. Like, I'm not having any issues with things moving. Things are, like, setting and pressing in, which is nice, and uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have any complaints so far, so I'm gonna go ahead, run off of camera, and I will be right back. And all right, beautiful people, with that, the rest of the face is on. Let's go ahead and throw up the up close. That way, you guys can see how things have, uh, have been progressing over the last half hour, 45 minutes or so. Um, I think in terms of the, the skin still looks good. Like I don't have any huge issues with it. I think, you know, over the cheek, it does look a little bit more makeup-y than I would like. And sometimes when you do put powder on or choose to completely set a hydrating foundation, sometimes that heaviness can happen, especially for the first hour or two, at least on my skin. So I'm not overly upset about that. The only issue I am having is one that I don't think that shows up on camera because I kept trying to zoom it in, but I couldn't quite get it. And that is that on my nose, this foundation settled into my pores and it kind of moved around a lot more in that area before I could really get it set down. And so thinking about this in terms of application moving forward, this might be the kind of foundation where I have to stick with mainly, you know, like a more gripping concealer kind of base on the nose and then lightly go over it with foundation just to make everything match. But this foundation just in and of itself doesn't seem to really grip well to my nose, which that's okay. Again, as someone that's combo leaning oily, that's not something I'm, you know, unaccustomed to, but just something to note if you if you struggle with the same kind of slippage factor it's something that could affect it and then just really quickly to run through the other items I am wearing I have my benefit brows which is the precisely my brow pencil and the gimme brow gel I have the lunar beauty moon prism blush palette I have the nabla cosmetics this is their ombre skin bronzing bronzer and I love this I test I actually tested this full collection it was like their Miami lights or something like that I'll link it up here but I did a full review on this collection and I really enjoy the bronzer it looks really good it really just presses into the skin beautifully. So I am wearing that. And then for highlight, I went in with my Hourglass Metallic. What is this? The Metallic Strobe Lighting Palette. And this is one of my favorite palettes of all time for highlight. I love it. I love the way it sinks into the skin, the texture, just everything about this is golden. So I, I'm wearing this. I love it. On the eyes, I'm actually wearing, instead of eyeshadow, I just used the Lunar Beauty Palette, that Moon Prism situation. And I went in with a couple of blushes, just kind of draped them all over the eyes. And then for lips, I am wearing this Buxom Full Force lipstick in the shade Boss, which is like a really beautiful kind of pinky nude moment. And I just, oh my God, I freaking love this color so much. And then for anybody that doesn't know, or maybe you've never been to any of my videos, I do link everything that I use today down below in the description box. So if you want to shop it, um, all of those are affiliate links. So I do make a little commission. Of course, it doesn't change the price to you guys. It doesn't change anything for you. Otherwise, I would never recommend using those links because I would never do that. Um, but it does, you know, help me out. It helps the channel out a lot. Just the commission. It's, it's what helps me be able to do this and be able to review for you guys and, and I really appreciate it like I know I've talked about this before but I just I like to reiterate every once in a while that without you guys supporting me in those little ways like it might not seem like much but and, and, and also too I don't ever want you to think that you need to use my links or that I, I need you to you know use them because I don't want you to spend money that you either weren't going to or that you don't want to like I don't ever want you to feel that pressure but if you are shopping and you shop through those links it's just a way that it just helps and I, I just want you to know that even if you think you're not helping a lot you are helping because little stuff like that. It's not only the financial support, it's the, the fact that you wanted to do it and that you sought out to use my links. And it's just, it, it really means a lot to me. And I just wanted to mention it because again, I, I feel like we live in a world where no one shows any damn appreciation and I just refuse to be that bitch. Okay. So thank you guys. Um, when you use my links, I really appreciate it. Everything will be linked down below. Like I said, makeup, as long as it's available, outfit, earrings, necklace, the whole bit. Um, I will try to get everything down there for you. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead, run off of camera. I'm going to go do my day and I will stop back on here in a little bit. All right, beautiful people. So I am 
am back and I have been off wearing this foundation for about 10 hours at this point and I want to go ahead and start off with the up close that way you guys can kind of see how everything wore. I have to say I think out of the list that I noticed with this foundation just in terms of little you know quirks and things here and there um, I, I think given that I am someone that's combo leaning oily I would actually say that it wore pretty close to how I imagined it would and you know you can see in the up close on the sides of the nose even well not even just the sides the entire nose really um, it had a very difficult time really sticking and like clinging to that area again that is something that I mentioned going into the video just how you know it looked a little sloughy it wanted to move around a lot and I really just think that that speaks more to the overall hydration factor of this foundation and for me it's not so much a wearing issue because you know again I am someone that's more combo leaning oily and through that t-zone area I did expect there to be a little movement but still something to note and then the second thing that I noticed with this foundation that I'm mean, truthfully you don't need to be up close for you can be up close far away you can be in any lighting and honey that is the hydration on the skin because normally and don't get me wrong okay it is a hydrating foundation so I did expect there to be some hydration and I did expect there to be a little bit more hydration oil whatever through the t-zone because you know that is kind of my thing and that's just where my oils come through the most but with this foundation what I appreciate and you can really see like all over my forehead right here my cheek my chin like all over my face it has that same level to it and normally because I'm you know my skin type combo leaning oily normally that would come off as more of an oily presence and it would just look really weird or it would feel super heavy with this foundation that's just not the case because what I'm noticing and I guess the best way that I could say it is that it, instead of it looking like an oily cakey kind of mess kind of like when you were up close kind of like how it looks on my nose right there it doesn't look like that all over the face because on the rest of the face it actually looks more like a healthy glowy like lit from within kind of dewy situation and I'm just really impressed with that because like I said I'm not used to you know foundations especially hydrating ones like this I'm really not used to them giving me like a beautiful glow I'm used to it looking like almost overdone overbearing and then you know verging on oily because of how much oil I naturally produce I guess for me to summarize it I would say that this is a very hydrating foundation don't take it lightly and it is the kind of hydration that does come through the skin throughout the day so it does kind of keep reinventing itself just to clarify there are some hydrating foundations that when you put them on they look really hydrating but that kind of you know soaks into the skin and you lose that that luminosity or that shine throughout the day and this for me is not one of those foundations even in the slightest I think that it stayed you know very present and very vibrant with that hydration factor like on the surface of the skin so if you are someone that is dry combo leaning dry you may really really enjoy this foundation because again it's, it's, it's very very hydrating and then in terms of like the hydration and kind of a comparison there one of the most hydrating foundations I have tried in recent months or hell even in recent years was the Fenty hydrating foundation because I mean the guys that one is just it's, it's very very hydrating and just to kind of compare and contrast a little bit obviously they both did break up in the t-zone and I had this like, very similar issue right here and that's not because of either foundation okay that's just because that's what happens when my oily ass t-zone <laughs> mixes with hydrating foundations that's not weird but something that I do think is very interesting is that when I wore the Fenty hydrating foundation it wore on my skin almost a little bit thicker and it's not that it looked bad because I don't I don't think that it wore necessarily ho like horrible on my skin but I do remember it looking a little bit more like oily greasy than like healthy dewy kind of shiny and with this one there's something about the thinness of this Chanel foundation that really does just kind of like lightly press itself into the skin and it does it just enough where I can wear it and you know still have like this beautiful amount of hydration don't get me wrong okay that level is different for everyone like I I, I fully understand that there are some people that if you are looking at me right now you'd be like bitch <laughs> you look like a big old oily grease monkey right now and honestly I'm not even gonna say that you're wrong because this foundation like it does have a lot of that surface level hydration going on and you know if that's not your thing or I mean even if you look at it and you're like Ugh, then you know then obviously that's not for you and that's fine but I still wanted to take a second and kind of draw a couple of differences a couple of similarities because there are beautiful aspects to this oh also by the way I want to mention um I didn't do a mask wear test for this a because I didn't I didn't go anywhere and b because um with how much it's transferring like I could literally just wipe my nose right now and all of it would come off so I know that this will transfer especially on me with my skin type and so I think with this foundation for me I will wear it again because again it does look beautiful in certain areas but I really need to focus in on seeing if I can get it to be a little bit more balanced on my skin and so I think I mean and I know I say this all the time but I think I'm going to try to mix it in with a little bit of my Catrice HD liquid full coverage drops because not only do these give me more coverage which I think would help so I wouldn't 
need, you know, as much of that to cover the whole face, which would cut down the hydration. But this is also a more matte leaning foundation, so it might kind of help counter it in that area as well. I think with this one, I am very excited to test it out and see if I can still get like this beautiful, healthy glow to my skin, but maybe with a slightly more longer lasting feel, which again, that's where those drops are going to come in. But you guys, I think that that is everything. Be sure to let me know all of your thoughts down below, whether it is on this foundation, another foundation. Um, you just love foundation reviews like myself. <laughs> let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments. And like I said at the start of the video, if you haven't done so yet, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notifications before you leave. Don't forget, most importantly of all, to go follow me over on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below. And you guys, I think that that is everything. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> where, where should I be? Maybe I should be over here. <laughs> Maybe I should be over here, over here. Okay. Stop it, Paige. Just stop it. Burp. Burp. Burp, Paige. Come on. <laughs> I'd love to know what I'm trying to accomplish. You guys, what does this taste in my mouth? Oh my god. It tastes chemical, like right on the back of my tongue. Uh, like danger, Will Robinson. Uh, something is bad in here. It's four score and seven years ago. Four score, the cap is on the floor. <laughs> I'm so funny. Ow! Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh my head. Oh my God almighty. Oh, I think that's a, f I think I, did I just break my skull? What? <laughs> Hello, what happened? <laughs> now I know how Humpty Dumpty fell. That motherfucker had a big old fall. I just cracked, cracked my big old ass eggnog and out this fucking drawer. Oh my God, that hurt. <laughs> oh. I just want the world to know I don't give a flying pig shit about the lid. It's gonna, it's gonna stay on the fucking floor and I'm gonna go nurse my wound on this big ass pointy ass fucking egg shaped head.